Okay, so here's another example where we're finding a missing side of a right triangle. This time it happens to be the hypotenuse. So we're going to use our trig ratios again. So, ka, toa. Um, again, let's label this A, B, and C. So we know angle A. We are missing our hypotenuse this time. The hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. We also this time have an opposite side from angle A. And this, of course, is our adjacent side, which we are not going to use. So our trig ratio that we are using for opposite and hypotenuse will be sine. So the sine of angle A is equal to our opposite over our hypotenuse. So fill in what we know. So the sine of 51 degrees is equal to our opposite, which is 14, over x, which is our hypotenuse. So now we use our algebra skills to solve this. Um, I like to think of these more of a proportion, and I can cross multiply them. So the sine of 51 degrees times x equals Fourteen times one, which is fourteen. Now to get x by itself, I need to divide off my sine, fifty-one. These cancel, so x really is fourteen divided by sine of fifty-one degrees. Let's grab our calculator, turn it on. So fourteen divided by the sine of 51 degrees. Now I did make sure, let's make sure, yep, we're in degree mode. So x is equal to 18.01. So our hypotenuse on this one would be 18.01.